Hi everybody. All right, first before we get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, post a comment. Do you have two Etsy shops? Because that's what we're going to be talking about. If you have more than one Etsy shop, post a comment and say how it goes for you. Do you like having two shops? Why do you have two shops? And I can think of three points that you really have to think about before you open a second Etsy shop. Now, I do have more than one Etsy shop. I have this one and I have my main shop, which is my main source of income on Etsy. And in this one, I have 27,000 almost sales. So it's obvious that I spend more time in this one. The first point that I have to talk about is time, because you have to spend time in an Etsy shop in order to get sales and in order to be successful at it. You can't do an Etsy shop part-time and expect to get a full-time income. So if all you want is a part-time income or it's just a hobby and you just want a little extra spending money, it might be okay to be in an Etsy shop every now and then and kind of pay attention to it when you have a chance. But if you want a full-time income, you have to spend full-time hours on it. So if you have that time, I don't know how you would to have two full-time Etsy shops, um, but you can do it. It's, it's just a matter of understanding that you're going to have to spend more time on Etsy in marketing your shops in general and the whole thing, as opposed to just having one where you can spend that amount of time there. Now, the second thing to take note of is that if you have two shops, you're splitting your sales. So the reason that I have two shops is that I have some things that are not edible and some things that are edible. So I decided to put everything in a second shop that was not edible and just keep my edibles in this shop. But by doing that, I'm taking sales away from this shop because if I put everything in one place, every sale is going to help the shop quality rating and it's going to increase my sales in one place. And that helps the Etsy search algorithm. It helps your listings be found easier because it's just a better shop quality rating and it kind of builds on itself. So to have everything building on itself in one shop is better overall than having it split up. But the third thing, which I kind of mentioned, is that if you have a really compelling reason, then you should have two Etsy shops just for customer, like to, to keep customers from being confused. So if you have two products that are completely different, like let's say you're selling vintage and you're selling shoes, then you probably should have two separate shops because the, the branding and the marketing is going to be different. You're going to be selling to different groups and you want to keep that separate so that you can kind of market your, your business the right way. If you have two things that are related, like you're selling artwork and then you're putting that artwork onto mugs and t-shirts and tote bags and stuff like that, it all has the artwork as a theme. So that's okay to keep everything in the same shop. But if there's two separate shops and two separate products, then you should have a separate shop. And the reason that I have this one separated, like I mentioned, is that this is all edible and these are not. So these are the same butterflies here as these are, but these are made from wafer paper and you can eat them. These are made from paper paper and you can't eat them. So if I had these in my cake shop, it's going to cause confusion. It's going to make customers, I guarantee you, it's going to make customers think you can buy these and eat these. So they might buy the wrong listing. And I really didn't want to deal with people buying the wrong thing and putting real paper butterflies onto a cake and then trying to eat them and getting mad at me. So for that reason, I have two separate shops. I also use this shop to experiment with and to you know, like run tests on and that kind of thing. So I don't expect to make a profit in this shop. I do, but if I run it at a slight loss or break even, that's fine with me because I'm using it for testing things. So that's my reason for having a second shop. If you have a compelling reason, that's fine. So the three things that you need to think about are, do you have the time that you want to put into both? Do you have a really good reason that you need to, or can you combine everything into one? Because the third thing is that you want to have everything in one place if you can in order to keep the shop quality rating high. So those are the three things to think about. And if you have something else that you would add to that list, please post a comment. And if you want to join the Facebook group, there's a link for that in the description of this video. And you can come over there and post questions about multiple groups as well.